If there is one decimal place in the answer, there will usually be one decimal place in the question. So we can apply the multiplication facts that we already know to decimals. So our first question is something times 8 equals 4.8. And if we know that 6 times 8 is 48, we know that 0 0.6 times 8 must be 4.8, so that we have one decimal place in the question. So now, pause the video and see if you can answer all of the other questions on this page. If we know that 8 times 2 is 16, we know that 0 0.8 times 2 is 1.6. Now, because 6 times 9 is 54, 0 0.6 times 9 is 5.4. We know that 5 times 7 is 35, so 5 times 0 0.7 is 3.5. Here, we already have one decimal place in the question, because we have 0 0.7, so our missing number is a whole number, not a decimal. And it's the same for our next question. We know that 7 times 4 is 28, so 7 times 0 0.4 is 2.8. Now, this last question looks different because we have a whole number as our answer. But we know that 2 is the same as 2.0. So now, this question looks similar to the questions above. We know that 4 times 5 is 20, so 4 times 0 0.5 is 2, or 